my nostalgic pick is the 1982 Rankin and Bass animated classic, The Last Unicorn. So let's get this thing started. Creatures that live in a unicorn's forest learn a little magic of their own in time. In a world of wizards, witches, monstrous creatures, dragons, knights, and evil kings, there is a unicorn who wonders if she is the last of her kind. Where have they gone? Tell me which way I must go to find them. A butterfly tells the unicorn of the red bull, with horns of a wild ox that pushes unicorns to the ends of the earth. Or was the story of the red bull just another of his songs? And a journey begins. She sets out to discover what happened to the other unicorns. She travels and travels, first coming upon a human who mistakes her for a horse. Continuing on, walking a lonely, weary road that leads to a witch discovering her. The witch enslaves a unicorn, making her part of the night carnival, where she uses magical illusions to make suffering animals appear as mythical creatures. What he calls a manticore looks to be no more than a shabby, toothless lion. This is where she meets and becomes friends with the bubbling wizard, Smindrick, who, after many failed attempts, helps her escape, and the two of them continue on the quest together. Take me with you. For luck, for laughs, for the unknown. The Last Unicorn animated film is based on a 1968 fantasy novel by Peter S. Beagle, who would also write the screenplay for the movie. Peter S. Beagle would go on to praise the film and basically called it a masterpiece compared to the Lord of the Rings animated movie, which he co-wrote the screenplay for. Supposedly, the only complaint he had was about Alan Arkin's performance as the magician. Which is funny, considering he's my favorite character in the film, so I guess I disagree with him. But what do I know? I didn't create the character. But I still can't help but to love this bumbling wizard. My dear, you deserve the services of a great wizard, but I'm afraid you'll have to be glad of the aid of a second-rate pickpocket. I love you. Love, 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 love. Oh, what have I done? They meet Molly Grew, who has the ability to see the unicorn. At first glance, she is filled with awe and wonder. Quickly, she becomes angry and sad over the unicorn coming to see her now when she is old and not new. <laughs> Without Smendrick's approval, Molly Grew joins their quest. During King Haggard's castle, the road starts to get dark. The unicorn is pursued by the Red Bull, chasing her down to imprison the last unicorn. The bumbling wizard, despite doubting himself, gives it everything he has and pulls off the most extraordinary magic he has ever done, turning the unicorn into a human and saving her life. Do as you will! Magic, do as you will! Molly Ghoul and the Once Unicorn are not as happy as the magician, but the journey must go on. The animation for The Last Unicorn was done by Japanese animated studio Topcraft. And this was not the only time Rankin and Bass had worked with a studio that would eventually go bankrupt and become Studio Ghibli. The Last Unicorn has very unique stunning animation with beautiful backgrounds, and sometimes spooky atmospheres and characters. This movie definitely has its dark tone moments, and the animation marries that very well. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Animation style, colors, and characters design is all very subjective, and I really connect with the animation in this film. After arriving at the castle, King Haggard agrees to let them stay for the winter, hiring Smindrick as his new royal magician. When they walk through the castle, you see all these creepy faces on the walls. It gives it a nice spooky feel. This is definitely something I enjoy. While staying at the castle, Prince Lear tries desperately to win her heart. But no matter what he tries, she just won't notice him. 
Slowly over time, she starts to forget who she once was. Feeling lonely with her human emotions taking over, she eventually falls in love with Prince Lear. The music was composed and arranged by Jimmy Webb and performed by the 1970s pop folk rock band America. And these don't really sound like little kid songs. It's filled with hauntingly beautiful numbers that make the hair on your arm stand straight up. From the absolutely amazing title track to the bright and happy sounding In the Sea and my personal favorite, the gloomy weary sounding Man's Road. Which is a song I could listen to all day, every day. Talk about hauntingly beautiful. This track is it. All in all, this is a great soundtrack that doesn't get the credit it deserves. It's really solid all the way through. The Last Unicorn has some great voice acting. The most notable being Alan Arkin as the wizard. Jeff Bridges as Prince Lear. Mia Farrow as the Unicorn, Angela Lansbury as the Witch, and Christopher Lee as King Haggard. All of these voice actors agreed immediately, which is kind of crazy, and supposedly Jeff Bridges wanted to be part of the movie so badly that he called Rankin and Bass personally, offering his talents for the film, and thank goodness they said yes. It's Pretty obvious that everyone really wanted to be part of this animated film, and it comes through in all their performances. And you know very well that I have them. Try to take them if you can. The king finds out the truth about the unicorn, and they find out the whereabouts of the Red Bull. From a wine-crazy talking skeleton, who by the way, is pretty awesome. But what's even more awesome is the way to the Red Bull. It's the choice between love and becoming a unicorn once again. I want to die when you die. I'm no unicorn, no magical creature. The magic lives inside of Smendrick. Smendrick has tried so desperately his whole life to control powerful magic, but in this moment, he becomes wiser than he ever has. What is magic for? What is the use of wizardry if it cannot even save a unicorn? That's what heroes are for. Love gives her the courage to fight back and drive the Red Bull into the water, freeing the unicorns from their prison in the sea. Now there are unicorns in the world once again. But there is only one that will ever know the feeling of love and regret. The Last Unicorn is a cool animated classic with stunning animation that feels very unique, filled with bright and dark moments. With themes of magic, fear, loneliness, love, loss, and self-doubt. What can I do? Do you think the Red Bull likes card tricks? It has fun, interesting characters, spectacular storytelling with really good voice acting. The Last Unicorn is truly a unique piece of fantasy in books and in animated films that I'm grateful to have grown up with. You are a true wizard now, as you always wished. 